We turn now to an early morning shooting in Portsmouth that's left a man dead. It happened on Paul Revere Drive close to 2 o'clock this morning. The shooter is still on the loose. Residents in the area told Casey Baylor the violence is too close to home. Neighbors on Paul Revere Drive called the shooting disturbing. They say this once quiet area is becoming more violent each day. We're in a battlefield, yeah. in the middle of a, a battlefield. Yeah. A car riddled with bullet holes surrounded by evidence markers and crime scene tape is a sign of concern for residents. It's, it's too much. Portsmouth police say they found a man shot to death on Paul Revere Drive near Frederick Boulevard around 1.45 Monday morning. A woman who didn't want to show herself on camera because she's scared for her life says she moved to the neighborhood more than a year ago. And she says the area never felt this unsafe. Peaceful, quiet. Only thing we had going on was kids doing mischievous things. Now she says she doesn't let her children go outside after witnessing someone fire shots around her family. She says the violence is greatly impacting her life. If my niece hear anything loud, she's holding her ears. Mm -hmm. So now I got to make her an appointment to go get her assessed for mm -hmm. possible T uh, PTSD. The battle against crime doesn't end for Stop the Violence 757. I mean, any time you hear of an incident like this, it makes you question, are we doing enough? What more needs to be done? Freddie Taylor, the president of the organization, says it's pushing his group to build more relationships with communities in Portsmouth and keep young people engaged. But he says it needs to be a wholehearted effort. We need the community to be willing to partner, even through their hurt, that we can get this done. In Portsmouth, I'm Casey Baylor for 13 News Now. Stop the Violence 757 is also working on a back to school event set for August. The goal is to provide resources on how to keep children safe during the school year. 